In May 2016, the chief financial officer of the DNC, Brad Marshall, sent an email to three other DNC staffers suggesting that the party should try to get someone to ask you about your religious beliefs. Here's the email. Quote, it might make no difference, but for Kentucky and West Virginia, can we get someone to ask his belief? Does he believe in a God? He had skated on saying he has a Jewish heritage. I think I read he is an atheist. This could make several points difference with my peeps. My southern peeps would draw a big difference between a Jew and an atheist, unquote. Senator Sanders, that is the chief financial officer of the Democratic National Committee. What is your response? Well, I think it's outrageous, but it is not a great shock to me. I think, uh, as I said, it's what we talked about six months ago. I mean, there's no question to my mind, and I think uh, no question to any objective observer's mind uh, that the DNC was supporting Hillary Clinton, was in opposition to our uh, campaign. So I'm not quite shocked by this. Uh, and that is why many, many months ago uh, I made it clear that I thought De Debbie Wasserman Schultz uh, should resign, should step down, uh, not only because of the prejudice I think they showed during the campaign, but also because I think we need a new leadership of the Democratic Party, which is going to open up that party to working people, to young people, to have the kind of vitality we need uh, to not only win the presidency, uh, but gain control of the Senate and the House as well. Senator, what is your personal response, though, to having your faith questioned like that by a fellow Democrat? Well, you're, you're now a Democrat or you're a Democratic candidate, but by somebody supposedly neutral and theoretically on your team. Well, first of all, uh, I am not an atheist, but aside from all of that, I mean, it is an outrage uh, and sad uh, that you would have uh, people in important positions in the DNC trying to undermine uh, my campaign. It goes without saying. The function of the DNC is to represent all of the candidates, to be fair and even-minded. But again, uh, I, we discussed this many, many months ago on this show. Uh, so what uh, is revealed now is not a shock to me. I think the focus, though, that I am going to go forward on right now uh, is to make sure that Donald Trump, uh, perhaps the worst Republican candidate in the modern history of this country, somebody by temperament, somebody by ideology, uh, must not become president of the United States. Uh, 